Anyone has any question? In regard to question, I just want to say anything to the spirituality is most welcome. And personal questions, I don't think have a big place in satsang because there is no place for person in satsang. And all personal questions come from person. Your personal desires. So, but anyway, anyone. If there is no question, then I'll just add one thing about how to make a hole. Someone wants to now ask a question from Sheena. Yes, Sheena. Uh, let me see where you are. Okay.
Hi, Sanjeev. Hello, Sim. Uh, Sanjeev Ji, sorry. Um, okay, there is a question I want to ask. I wanted to understand uh, why we are actually going through what we are going through now, all these numerous births, uh, reincarnating many times. When we are already uh, a pure soul with God and we return back to a pure lost soul with God even after each birth, we already are already the essence. We are already the pure soul. So this numerous birth, numerous things that we learn and undergo, um, what is the point? What is the end goal of it? You know, um, I don't know. And yeah. goal is to realize your own self. Your pure self is the end goal. Yeah, but aren't we already there? Uh, if you're already there, then that's okay. When we are coming, no, no, what I mean is like, before we incarnate, before we come, we take the birth, we are really the pure soul, we are really the pure essence. Um, and then we come and learn all this, then we learn that we are the pure essence and we go back to that original source itself. So, we are doing all these multiple millions of rebirth and all that. So, what is the what is the purpose behind all this when we are ready there? What is the reason? That is what I am saying. The only purpose is to know and if you already know then what rebirth? No rebirth. If you already know it. Then you are out of this game. If you know it then it's good. There is no other purpose except to know it. That's all. Before this game, like what you put it, and we don't we know, I mean, not know, but aren't we the pure essence already? Yes, we are. So, what I mean is, um, what is there to know then if we are really that before we, we descend into earth or nothing, human being? Nothing to know. Except to realize and abide what you are. That's all. There is no other purpose. Okay. If you know it, you are out of this birth and death. Who is taking births? Who is just knowing, understanding intellectually, read in a scripture, someone said to you, you are a pure soul, it is useless because it does not help. We, we all think we are pure soul and we do all the works of impurities in this world, full of our desires, attachment, greed, likes, dislikes. Where is that purity in our action? Does it reflect in our action? If it reflects in our action and we abide in that, then you are already free. Then there is nothing to be done. But just saying, I am a pure soul, I am part of God and doing all the sorts of works like a devil. What is that? Then what is God and what is your liberation and what is self-realization? Just not just reading somewhere and making it a belief or a concept is not of any use, except that if from that belief you start knowing yourself and be that only, rather than what you think you are right now or acting from ego. So this is a big difference. It is not just a saying a word that I am a pure soul and it's all done. If it's so easy, then everyone can just read a statement and be free. What, uh, Sanjay? Like, why are we born to experience all these uh, um, experiences? When do we like? What is the purpose? Because we are already with God, then we come out and um, we take each birth. So before the birth, also. Don't worry about your births and millions of births and part of God. Just see where you are right now. Do you feel that you are God? 
Do you act like God? No, 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 no. Of course not. Because no, when no, you take the listen body, to, listen to me. Don't worry why you came. You came because of your desires and attachments and whatever you have created. Your karma that is continuing your journey. But if you want to give a pause to it, you want to be that real uninvolved self. Then you have to look within. There is no other way. Asking this question, why the answer is your own desires have created it. We all have created our own entanglement, and to disentangle also it's your responsibility. It is not God's responsibility or someone else's responsibility. Both ways, it is you only. There is no one else. All the teachings, practices, guru, that also comes from your own grace because now you want. to know the truth okay thanks sanjeev sanjeev ji look don't uh, worry about sanjeev or sanjeev ji it doesn't affect me at all whatever <laughs> comes naturally you should say there is no like after g i am getting respect <laughs> i don't need any respect in that sense at all main thing is if you understand the concept you work on it and you be with that that is the best otherwise there is no point in uh listening to the satsang also because the whole idea is about your own liberation because what you think you are is the only obstacle let's not get into any concept of pure soul and part of god and because they don't serve any purpose in our liberation beyond all these thoughts which have created this world around us there is that brahman that awareness which feeds it which gives all the energy all the potential to manifest but is never involved that is undifferentiated awareness beyond birth and death just saying that we are all that doesn't take us there to recede into it you have to disentangle in this dream world what you think you are your doership 
doership coming from attachments and desires and people don't have one desire or one attachment they have thousands and you stop hundreds of them and hundreds new problem that's why in our life we continue with so many activities and it's not just the actions by which we are bound we are bound by results we are also interested in the results the way we want and whether the results are according to our wish or against it both creates bondage let's say you are after money and by doing whatever business you do you earn a good money which you are looking for now what will happen you will get more entangled you want to do more of it to get more if you get contented by a figure what you had and you stop then also you are free but if you just do an act and the money comes with it that can help you to be free but if you do an act and you don't get it that makes you miserable then you feel depressed hopelessness all the actions we do are full of intense desires then how can you be free how can you know that purity within to be free to be back to the source you have to give up relationship with your mind mind is the instrument it is that power of mind which brings out all this world and all your desires in this world there is no other word except mind if you can transcend this mind by realizing the silence within which is always there independent of this mind you can attain peace everyone can attain peace when we are surrounded by all these things activities our involvement as a body mind behaving as ego would do worship how hard it is to get out of it who can get out of it how people talk about practice practice is to watch the ego
how it loves to only serve one body mind according to its petty desires while we have potential to become everything to be infinite this can only happen in a human birth if you want to achieve to your full potential before leaving this body that is self realization nothing beyond it nothing more than that it is your complete flowering unfolding become one with the absolute but to become one with the absolute you have to leave these petty desires which keeps you at the level of body mind complex you can't do both you can't be both keep getting involved in crazy things in this world to achieve those small desires and then also be free freedom is only from those desires and from that small ego self and it's not a small task it's a big task and shanti was pointing that we have done millions of births but who knows this we have only heard but even if we believe even in this birth which we have taken we know how much suffering and all the constant thinking it's like a cage but who understands who is leaving these desires who is trying to unfold then it looks like it is so difficult the one who is completely absorbed in this world whether he likes it or not that's a different thing people who are miserable they still love to be in it and you if you love to be in it then it does not cause that much of problem when you try to free yourself because you never think like that but the moment you want to be free now free means free from everything you dropping this identity once and for all then you see how much you are tied to so many things when we started these satsangs i said this these satsangs are for intense spiritual seeker for mumukshu Mumukshu means the one who is only longing to know the self. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. If you have hundred other interest, then how can you be free? i'll give you a very good example whatever you are interested in let's say you love to play golf you play every day you practice every day you watch videos you talk to those people who are better than you you play with them and you get this memory of everything in your mind that becomes engraved and when you play a shot all that memory from your mind helps you to keep playing and it gets better and better you are creating a path coming out of your interest and it unfolds and becomes beautiful this is in our normal day to day activities of life how you get how you excel in one thing now you want to make a hole in this hole maya how can you make that hole how can you tear it apart because it is it is only the domain of mind to come out of it you need something which is not in the domain of mind 
And that too so intense that you create a path through which you can be out of it. So you pick up something within domain of mind, though it is there, but it is like a door, it can take you away, take you out of it. You look for someone who has done it. And there is not one path, there can be so many ways. But you have to continue on it. Even in small things like playing a game or doing a task, you have to do multiple times to get better in it. Even to keep coming back to this awareness, you have to keep reminding again and again and again and again. So all these thoughts which come to you, bombard you, keep you on the doer mode. They drift away and if left, they don't touch you. Then you attain your silence. Still there might be an ego. And how to finish it, devotion plays a major role, which people don't understand. Your love for that God, that godliness within us, or the Guru, or that teacher, with that devotion, it is not that you are only respecting a guru. You are trying to finish your ego in the feet of guru so you can be free and you can be that. Egoistic mind cannot understand this. It is our own help. Devotion is very powerful. Otherwise, whatever peace you attain by detaching yourself from mind, you, your ego can build upon that peace and can say, I have achieved. I am free. So ego has entered from the other door. You are still in bondage. Look for your inner stillness, which is always there. The moment you start looking for it, you will notice so many thoughts obstructing that stillness and you can't know that silence. And here the journey starts. Because we have never looked within for so long, there are these cobwebs, the place is not clean, it is dark. Now 
internal cleansing will start when you look within. And we all have to go through all that torment of those thoughts, subconscious mind, all what we are carrying for so long. Before you get pure water in a well, you have to dig, you have to get rid of the soil. It's a process. Meditate on that pure silence within all the time. Be a devotee of that pure silence. These sense organs in this body, they are all to taste, touch, smell, hear. All this is to know the word, to keep yourself in this maya, in this illusion. They are not helpful to know yourself. Mind full of thoughts is also to experience this word. As we say, self is known only by self. You can know this by silence. The silence is independent of thoughts. People think that in realization you achieve anything. You don't achieve anything. On the other hand, you lose everything. You lose your identity. You lose your intense desires. Even the body functions, but you are uninvolved. Sometimes a jnani can look very involved, but he is completely detached. If those things goes away, what are happening, it doesn't matter. But our eyes cannot perceive how the jnani works and how things happen. Because we have ego, we cannot do anything without a purpose. We have never done it. For every action, there should be some result. Then only we do it. And most of our actions are give and take. If there is no personal benefit, we don't want to do it. When we are not interested in anything, when we are not looking forward for anything, when we have no doership in anything, then we become nothing. The ego melts away. Ego can survive only as a doer. Doer is ego, nothing else. This sense in our perception 
that I am doing and I need and I want and this I don't want and I hate. All these comes as thoughts in our mind. And we are always busy with our mind. Don't worry about changing the world, changing the situation. You just come out of it. The one who is looking for a change is part of this situation only. But who are you? The moment you are disinterested in everything, you attain to desirelessness. Then only you know that you are never involved. And the one who is involved in the cycle of birth and death is not you. When the ego is gone, previous births and deaths, even if the mind remembers, there is no one to say it was me. Then this question that why I am going through birth and death will not be there. It will go away as we see a dream at night and we are not interested in it. Because what we truly are is always the same. It is impersonal. It has never taken any birth. So this question of that we are going through birth and death doesn't arise when you know that. And the one who thinks I am going through birth and death, if that doesn't realize the one who has never taken birth, will always be in bondage. So the one who liberates
is known. It is only your notional correction. So in reality, no one realizes anything. Self is already realized. And the one who is unrealized is fake, wrong identity. This whole drama is a case of wrong identity. You you are putting your money at a wrong place. You know, we can identify someone by a wrong name, as a wrong person. Sometimes I call a patient and that patient is maybe deaf, too deaf to hear it. And then someone else thinks I have called that person. When we start conversation, after a minute or so then we both realize that this person was not to be seen now someone else so wrong identity then i call the right person in all our life we are living in a wrong identity of our own self whatever drama story we have constructed around the body mind is not us. That's only we need to understand. Whatever practice you need to do for that, that is that practice. Whatever understanding, right understanding you need to cultivate, that is what all this sadhana, this practice, listening to it, understanding the truth, about your own self. And for most of the people, it is a gradual process. It takes time. All the questions come out of the ego. Self has nothing to ask, nothing to prove, nothing to do, nothing to claim. Self is beyond time and space. Self is pure awareness without any form, without any name.
Once you understand this truth, no practice is needed. Because the one who does all practices has to disappear. Otherwise, he will keep doing practices and he will stay. When all the time we are in this fake self called ego, then how to be in that real self? Only by non-doing, only by non-doership. And this non-doership or non-doing doesn't mean the body doesn't work or act, it has to. But you find your place where in spite of all movements, you are not moving. That perfect stillness within you. Which is beyond your mind. Mind, body, intellect. All these are coverings around it. None of them are you. You are that pure essence which is free from this world. Just be that. You are this pure awareness. Pure presence. Always the same.
Pure awareness is freedom. Freedom is from that personhood. Freedom is never for that person. Move from person to pure presence. No mind, no thought. Nothing. No name, no form. Pure silence, pure awareness is eternal, perpetual, always available. Independent of all what is ever in mind of this world, unaffected, uninvolved.
we are this awareness Pure self, Atman, Brahman. Be that soul, ego, jiva is always tainted with thoughts and desires. It is our delusory image. If you want to transcend, leave that imagery, delusory identity. Be this awareness, Brahman. Oh, Shanti, Shanti.